All right, guys, this is what I call boosting a hive. There's two different ways to do it. But this is the way I prefer to do it. I'm giving them immediate nurse bees, not just a frame of a brood that may take days to hatch. What I've done is I went to one of my strong hives that I was worried about swarming. Took three bars, it's actually the top bar hive. It's probably the strongest hive in the yard. Went and stole three, I think it was three or four bars of open brood. I gotta be open brood. Found the queen first and got her to the back of the colony. Then I took the three or four bars, I think with this many bees, I'd say that's four bars, of open brood and shook them in this tub. Let it set in the shade for about five to 10 minutes. That way all the foragers that have been somewhere before and went out and flown know where to go back to and they'll leave within that five, 10 minutes. They usually leave within a minute or so. And once they get a scent of the queen inside the box, see they're up here fanning and everybody just about except these folks down here in the bottom. See these girls, they're all heading that way. They're fanning saying mama's in the box. They don't care if it's the mother they just left or the mother they're just going to. They know that there is a mated queen and she's laying in this box. Notice how there's no fighting on the front. They're nurse bees, guard bees don't care. They know the difference between a worker being a nurse bee, a guard bee, they know everybody's own job. They know these ladies are young. They're too young to fly. That's why they walk. The other way I mentioned, you take a frame of cat brood. Hopefully you can find a frame or two that has real dark brood on it. The thing is, though, with a weak hive and this time of year, which is February the 12th, not February, geez, April the 12th, here in Southeast Tennessee, we still have a chance for some cold nights. So what I've done is just gave them this instead of giving them those frames because when you give them a frame of almost ready to emerge brood, you have to make sure there's bees to cover it and you have to shake all the bees off of that because I'd say 90% of the bees that are on that brood are not nurse bees. You go dragging them over and shove them in the hive and more than likely you're going to have some fighting. Somebody might decide to sting the queen and then everybody's mad and then everybody jumps on the queen and next thing you know you're starting over. These ladies are slowly going in. Come on. See if I can't get the box up there a little bit closer. The other way you can boost the colony is take the frame of nurse bees that are on a frame of open brood same thing set them off to the side give them a little while give them a little bit of time for the foragers and the other bees to fly away that have been out of the hive and then you bring it over and slide it into the hive so this hive here has three frames of brood partial frame of nectar and an empty frame so what I've done is when I went in there, I moved the nectar out, but the empty frame here, so the queen would immediately, with all of this extra forced feed, she'll immediately start laying in that, that frame. Simple and easy. Thanks for watching Woolly Bees. You guys have a great day. It's bee season, and I'm having a ball.